Phantom Power, The Tragically Hip, Forever Hip. My friends, thank you for joining me for another episode of Life and Surround. This is The Tragically Hip, Phantom Power, 25th anniversary. They have broken this set up into CD deluxe sets and LP deluxe sets. Both come with a very important Blu-ray, which we will discuss. The respective sets come with vinyl as opposed to CD, uh, you know, quality copies of the music on offer here, and then some differences in the booklet qualities, okay? So you can see it's in the little clamshell. It's got a booklet that has some interesting, cool information in it, including lyrics for every song. Very important because Gord Downey's lyrics are just absolutely like one of the foundations of this group. You get the album remastered on CD in kind of a gatefold digipack format. It's like very cool. You see the Phantom Power electrical elements. This is important, okay? You get an album of the Tragically Hip live in 1998. It feels a bit short to me, like maybe it's around, you know, 80 minutes or so. I just wish they played longer. You get New Orleans is sinking. You get the 100th Meridian. You get tons of songs from the new record, you know, from Phantom Power. So given that Phantom Power is the Tragically Hip's seventh album, I feel that in their live show, the Tragically Hip live in 1998, you get a good sprinkling of former, older classic tunes, but their set focuses on Phantom Power, which is fine by me because I consider it to be a very strong album. And then in this set, CD number three or LPs number four or five or whatever, you get these alternate tracks of seven of seven Phantom Power songs. Super Farmer Nano Baby is actually like a reimagining of poets. And I think I prefer it. The only track on here that I possibly don't prefer is Bob Cajun, just because I believe um, that bass line. <laughs> oh, man, that bass line. The bass line of Bob Cajun is masterful. It's master class. And um, on the alternate takes, you get Bob Cajun stripped down to acoustic guitar and vocal. And that is instructive. And I do recommend listening to it. But you're, you're going to miss that bass line. I think you really will. I think you really will. Other than that, the other six tracks on the reimagined record. Poets, something on Chagrin Falls, Fireworks, Thompson Girl. Escape is at hand for the traveling man. I think you might agree. This this disc might contain some definitive cuts. The Blu-ray. It's got lossless stereo, 5.1, 7.1, and Atmos. This time it's been mixed by Mark Rieken who has quite the pedigree. He started working with Tragically Hip in 94, worked with them up to 2000, has also worked with Leonard Cohen and King Crimson. So, you know, quite the resume. And he was an original engineer. This mix that we have, you have a lot of information up front 
and then you have establishing sounds in the surrounds and up in the atmos. So, you know, to the credit of this mix, you hear things like uh, bass solos isolated in the center, Gord Downey's vocal isolated in the center. So you can either drop it or you can isolate it. Um, it's pretty dry. It's pretty raw. Drums, the drum kit for this album sounds like it's as, as big as your room because you've got like the kick and the snare up in the front center, but you've got like cymbals and toms kind of like emerging out into the room. You mainly have the, you have the main vocals front and center. You have the bass guitar front and center, a lot of elements of the drums front and center. And then you have like the main rhythm guitars or the main accompaniment in front, left or right. And you tend to have ambient sounds and overdubs in the surrounds and in the atmos and you know what i'm perfectly cool with that this mix sounded great to me i cranked it at reference volume and for me in this case that meant i got gord downey's vocal sounding like he was like literally shouting at me right in front of my face and like i could just kiss him or hug him or you know give him a pat on the shoulder like that freaking close. And then, um, you know, with the mix that loud, felt like the drums were maybe 100 feet away from me. Like they were a little bit, you know, diminished. Guitars were fully present, overdubs fully present. So maybe, you know, if I were mixing this record, I would just choose to pump the drums a little bit more because I like to go for like a, a live room feel. You know, how does this band really feel if you're hanging out with them? How, do, how does it really feel? So, um, you know, I always understand the the motivation and the temptation to boost Gord Downey's vocals above all else. And I will say that um, compared to the 7.1 and the 5.1, the Atmos actually like pushes Gord Downey's vocal out into the room the best probably making use of, you know, that like Atmos metadata information. So um, in every case, he is mainly isolated into the the center channel. But I think with Atmos, like maybe his vocal gets some support from the other channels, some reverb or, you know, or, or some thickening of some sort. So anyway, man... I don't know. Sorry about this review. I'm not sure. So with the CD Blu-ray set, you get a booklet. It's cool. It's got the lyrics for every song and it's got some credits. It is a little bit hard for old people to read. It's a little bit difficult. So um, there is a distinction to be made here between the the CD and the, the vinyl set. They both come with the Blu-ray. They both come with that all-important Blu-ray for me. I want that Atmos mix, man. Or 7.1 if you haven't upgraded that far, or 5.1, or lossless high-res stereo. Heck yeah. I want that. So, you know, both uh, the vinyl sets and the CD sets come with that. And I happen to have found the CD set at a price I could tolerate. Uh, vinyl is quite a bit more. But with vinyl, you're going to get like a bigger book that you can read easier. And it apparently has information in it that the CD set does not. So, for instance, the CD set credits some interviews that just aren't printed anywhere. And then I did some online research and I found that, you know, there's interviews and all kinds of extra goodies in the vinyl set. So, hey, listen, Phantom Power the tragically hip forever hip so check out the tragically hip if it's the last thing you do start with earlier records if you like but phantom power is actually a pretty decent jumping on point it's starting to get slightly commercial but especially this atmos mix 
it reveals some rawness. So, hey, if you like what I do, don't forget to like, subscribe. We're almost at 5,000 subscribers. So make fake email accounts. Tell all your friends. Do what you have to do. Like host a, like a baked goods party. Get people to sign up. Let's get let's get past five thousand, and let's see if YouTube kind of you know changes the algorithm. I've heard that some cool things happen at five thousand, and then some very cool things happen at ten thousand. Okay, and for what it's worth, I never thought that Life and Surround would have one subscriber or ten or a hundred or a thousand. So this is all just super cool. I'm just a nerd. Very, very, very normal, average type of person who loves immersive and surround music and just talking to you. You know, we're just we're just buddies. That's what this channel's all about. Okay. All right. So thanks for all your support. Thanks for watching if you made it this far. And if you have, I will. Bless you. The benediction to live life.